guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Loki. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving into a series that has been long anticipated for me, and that is Loki. I'm so excited to be diving into this series today because if you didn't know, Loki is one of my favorite characters. I think he's probably my favorite just because of how sassy and theatrical and funny he is, and I think Tom Hiddleston is adorable. So I'm really excited to watch this show. I was devastated when Loki died in Avengers Infinity War, I believe it was. So um, I'm happy to see that there's a show for him and that the story is not over for him. If I had to guess, I would assume that this series is probably focused on the version of Loki that survived because when the Avengers went back in time and then Loki escaped with the Tesseract in the past. I mean, I don't really know. I'm still kind of confused on how all of that works with the time traveling stuff. Um, because they said that it shouldn't affect the future, I think, in the way that they were doing it. I still don't really understand it, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. But if I had to guess, I would assume that it's that version of Loki that we're going to be visiting in this series. If not, I would assume that we're going back in time and visiting him somewhere else. I don't really know anything about the show, um, so I'm very excited I managed to escape all spoilers. And that was kind of a big motivation for why I was powering through the other shows so fast because I really do care a lot about this show because I love Loki so much and I didn't want anything to get spoiled for me along the way. So I'm happy to be here and watching this one today with you guys. I am wondering what kind of cameos we'll see in a series like this because in the last two series, we've seen some other secondary characters pop in. WandaVision, you know, we had um, Agent Wu and... Monica um, grown up and in Falcon and the Winter Soldier we had oh god Sharon is that her name Sharon Carter uh, I could be getting that wrong but I'm, there's a lot of names guys <laughs> I'm trying we also had a uh, Zemo that guy and um, some other people so we definitely are getting little cameos from secondary and smaller characters here and there and I wonder if we'll get more of that in this show or if we'll even get bigger cameos. I mean, I'd love it if somebody like Thor popped in, but I highly doubt that that will happen for a show like this. I also think that there's a new Thor movie coming out. I don't know when, um, but I, I think they're working on a fourth Th Thor film. I wonder how many of those they got planned. I guess it depends on how many comic books there are because that's it's a mystery to me because I haven't read them. So um, yeah, I'll be interested to see what that movie has as well and if Loki's in that. I just want Loki and everything. That would make me happy. Just even things that aren't Marvel. I just want Loki there. <laughs> I want Tom Hiddleston narrating my life. That would make me very happy. <laughs> but real quick before we hop on into the show, I just want to quickly mention I do have a Patreon page for those of you guys who want to catch my full length reactions to everything we watch over here. I always link that in the description bar down below. And I think it's worth mentioning that I'm actually done with the Loki series by the time that you're seeing this over on YouTube because... I am very far ahead on Patreon and I just can't seem to slow myself down. So if you like seeing the content earlier and in the full length reaction watch along style format, definitely make sure to check out my Patreon page. Also, Natmares is coming up relatively soon. By the time I'm posting this video on YouTube, it'll be sometime in September. So um, if you want to have a say in the scary, horrific movies that I subject myself to in October, you might want to join the Patreon page, even just the dollar tier. That's where you can vote in polls and help control the direction of this channel a bit more. So yeah, I'm nervous for Natmare season. I'm not going to lie. Um, right now, at the time of me filming this, this is August, um, and it's hitting me that I have to start thinking about scary movies to watch. <laughs> I'm not excited, <laughs> especially because I think I'm going to be filming the Natmare series in a house by myself a lot of the time because Tyler will actually be shooting his feature film in September and I'm going to be helping him with that but I'm going to be filming at a separate location than where he's filming so I'll be bouncing back and forth between helping him and 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 filming and things like that and um, the idea of watching horror movies alone in a house 
and then potentially sleeping alone in that house sometimes. That That's giving me extra anxiety. So I think this nightmare season is going to be a little rough, TBH. <laughs> um, but, you know, they make for entertaining videos. I like to watch people get scared and scream. So I will do that for you guys. <laughs> But with all that being said, guys, I'm ready to just hop on into this show. I'm so excited to go on this new journey with you guys. I have a feeling this one will fly by pretty quickly um, because I could do with a lot more of Tom Hiddleston than six episodes, but I'm excited regardless. And with all that being said, if you guys are ready, I think we should grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the series. Oh, this is totally right after the first... Yes! Yes! I was right, wasn't I? I was right about where this when this takes place. Yes! Yeah, where did he go? I want to know. It's green! Yes! Green! I knew green was the color. Oh, are we in like the Sahara or something? Maybe we're on a different planet. I don't know. Oh, Gobi Desert. Okay. Man, you picked a great place, dude. What is happening? I am Loki. Oh, he, he had to run onto the rock to make a dramatic announcement. <laughs> what the hell? Who are these guys? There's a lot happening. On behalf of the Time Variance Authority. <gasps> time Variance Authority? Oh, this is what happens when the timeline is messed with? Now get out of my way. I was gonna say, he always acts like he can take on anything and then he gets his ass beat. Like, <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, she slowed the time down. Wow, so the time people are arresting him? It's not even his fault. I mean, I guess it is. He did steal the Tesseract. Who the hell are these people? I know they just said who they are, but like, I wonder where they came from. Where is he going? Oh, what's happening? He's just gonna keep running and she's just rewinding it. Oh, it's because of the collar. Oh, wow, this office. Oh, Eugene Cordero? Wow, good job, dude. This office looks so futuristic and old school 70s retro at the same time. I love it. Hang on just a minute. <laughs> wow, I like how that scene was just so we could see his abs for a minute. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like, oh, now it's like a DMV line, but with old school 70s lighting. This is so, wow, this art style for the set is already so cool and unique. I love it. There's only two of us in here. <laughs> Take a ticket. It's like the DMV, bro. You gotta follow the rules. <laughs> I love how silly this all is already. I miss minutes, and it's my job to catch you up before you stand trial for your crimes. Wow, he's about to get caught up on everything that happened, huh? But sometimes people like you veer off the path the timekeepers created. We call those variants. They, do, they usually probably don't do it on purpose, though. Which, left unchecked, could branch off into madness. It really could lead into madness with Loki. <laughs> I love this cartoon style. So old school. That guy didn't give me a ticket. I tried to ticket, ask for one. sir. Oh, uh-oh. What's going to happen to him? We see another Jesus Christ, he just vaporized him because he didn't have a ticket? Where's your ticket, bro? Loki, you couldn't have lost your ticket in five minutes. Come on now. Ooh, what a trippy little intro already. Short and sweet, I like it. Oh, now we're in France. Interesting. Oh, way back in 1549? You think? Oh my God. Is that Owen Wilson? Yeah, stab wounds look consistent with the others. <laughs> of all the people I would have thought to be in this series, Owen Wilson was not one of them. I'm shook. I have goosebumps, I'm so excited. Wait, stand down. Stand down. It's just, yeah, th this kid clearly belongs in this timeline too. You guys don't fit the aesthetic of 1549 France. This kid has probably never seen anything like this tablet. Like, they're just showing him. Wouldn't this person be like shocked by this technology? Like, they're just showing off their flashy technology without even being concerned about it. What's with the blue tees? <gasps> oh no. What's gonna happen with this kid? Oh no. Set a reset charge. Oh, yeah, they reset everything so that people's memories are probably wiped or whatever. You see, I only came into possession of the Tesseract because they traveled through time. No doubt in a last ditch effort to stave off my ascent to God King. Oh, that's why he thinks they did it. That's funny. Oh, Owen Wilson. What they did was supposed to happen. Oh. You escaping was not. Maybe somebody should catch him up on what happened because he doesn't know. How do you plead? He doesn't know what's going on. Guilty. Oh, he's gonna say guilty? What's he doing? All of this. Oh, what's he doing now? 
Do you think you have mad? Dude, you got a collar on. There's probably no magic here. What's going on? Hang on. Everyone Ooh. quiet. What is he doing? Come on, dude. And I sentence you to be reset. Reset? Oh, that doesn't sound like fun. It's not your story, Mr. Laufison. Is his last name Laufison? All this time, I never knew his last name. Is that his last name? I'm confused. Owen Wilson's gonna save him. Anything goes sideways. It's on you. Oh. I'm Agent Mobius, by the way. Mobius. Okay. You were created by the timekeepers. Yep. He was created by them? It's interesting that all these timekeepers are hum look like humans. Oh my god, the sets are so cool. I live within whatever path I choose. Sure you do. <laughs> I love what a contrarian Loki tries to be. Wow, was he gonna try to hurt him? Oh. Should you return, what are you gonna do? Claim my throne. Well, to be fair, you already tried to do that. You just don't know. Asgard doesn't exist anymore. Oh, yeah. Is he going to tell him, like, Asgard's not a place anymore? The first and most oppressive lie ever uttered was the song of freedom. Oh, I miss the Loki that's gone through more character growth. We're back to, the, to this Loki. I still love him, but I miss the Loki at the end of the third Thor movie. He's still there. Oh, is he gonna show him what ended up happening? I, I just want him to get all the answers. A sampling of your greatest hits. A sampling of your greatest hits? Ha! Ah! Oh, we're gonna live through his memories. That's fun. This is one of my favorites. Oh, we're on a plane. Bourbon and soda. Ooh! You might want to take a look at that note. Oh boy, what's in the note? Oh no. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus Christ. What a scene. What a scene. He was like flirting with her and he's like, oh, but it's actually a terrorist threat, ma'am. You might want to look at the at the note. When did he do this? Oh, it was just money. See you again someday. Ah, what? When? Did, how does this play into what we know about Loki? Oh. What, what was the point in getting all that money? What was the point of it? Is That's not useful on Asgard. And I lost a bet to Thor. Oh, he lost a bet. Oh, I guess. Oh. Oh, that would get so annoying so quick. I was just standing up to make a point. Sorry, go away. <laughs> it won't be as meaningful now. <laughs> this is exactly how I would feel. I'd be like, I was just gonna stand up to talk, dude. You ruined the moment. I want you to be honest about why you do what you do. This is like a therapy appointment that he didn't ask for. <laughs> if you hadn't picked up the Tesseract, you would have been taken to a cell on Asgard. And then, oh, is he gonna show him everything that happened? That we've seen happen? Yeah. You're always so perceptive about everyone but yourself. This is when he was locked in the cell, wasn't he? So you think you send them to Thor. You might want to take the stairs to the left. Oh, but they send him to his mother. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh God, I don't think he even really knew that he directly caused that. You were born to cause pain and suffering and death. Oh, no, but he reformed by the end, kind of. This is so sad. You think everyone should be reset. I'm getting good stuff in there. He just lost another unit. A unit, like a person? Oh boy, where did he go? How did he escape? Is he just hiding? He doesn't have magic powers here though, so. Oh, we got the thing out of his pocket. I see. Prune on sight. Prune on sight? Oh, God. I'm assuming pruning means like that vaporizing thing. <laughs> Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? What's a fish? He doesn't know what a fish is. <sighs> Uh-oh. There's other shiny things in the drawer he's getting distracted by. Are those all infinite? Wait, how many infinity stones are there? How do you have these? Oh, we actually get a lot of those. What? Amazing how he's just walking out in the middle of this while they're all searching for him. Is this the greatest power in the universe? Ah, his opinion changed, huh? Is he gonna go ahead in time and maybe see what would have happened? What would have become of his life? Do it. I love you, my sons. Oh, he's gonna watch his dad die now too. This is great. If you're here, I'm not even give you a hug. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, is this his death scene? Yeah. He's gonna watch himself die. Oh God, this is so crazy. I'm happy that he's at least seeing all this. It's like, you were good, dude. You can be great. <laughs> it's his end of file, like an end credit. Oh, goody. She wants to vaporize him so badly. <laughs> it's interesting that he just walked up to her to fight her when she has that stick. I'd be scared. What's she doing? Oh, he took the collar off. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, goody. <Stop. laughs> what is he doing to her? What's he going to do to her? 
Oh, that's got to be painful. I wonder what he's thinking. I feel like he wants to stay. I mean, he can't really escape him anyway if they can track him as a variant. I can't go back, can I? Back to my timeline. Oh. Fugitive variant's been killing our Minutemen. Why me? The variant we're hunting is... You. What? How? He's uh, They're hunting himself? What happened? 1858? Oh my god. What? Wait. Oh. Someone's out there. Is that the other Loki? With a lantern? Oh, that's ominous. Oh, what a way to go. That's a great way to go. This guy's gonna escape. Maybe not. Oh, just kidding. Well, it has to be the other Loki. Interesting. Okay, we're either at a renaissance fair or we're literally, we're in Wisconsin, we're, okay, we're at a renaissance fair. I was like, <laughs> is this a ren fair or is this the real renaissance, you know? You never know. Wow, there were ren fairs in the 80s? How old is the ren fair thing? What's going on? You guys aren't dressed right. Ah, <laughs> you aren't dressed right. I mean, honey, people go to ren fairs and they aren't dressed up, like the people who attend. Some of us need this, you know. <laughs> oh, she's got some issues. <laughs> One of those theater girls who the only gig she can book is a run fair. I can relate. <laughs> he can do that? He can do the thing that Wanda does? I didn't realize he could do that. Is she gonna go play a part now? Because Oh no, she's gonna fight. Oh goody. I do love this song. I need a hero. Oh, these poor people. Gotta be fresh from the fight. Oh, he's taking her with him. Oh no. What's he want with her? We've grabbed enough temporal aura to know it's our Loki variant, but which kind of Loki remains unknown. Are there more? Is there more than one Loki variant? A lot of these guys, almost more than any other variant. Oh my God, really? Because you already know that we can catch you and how's betraying us gonna get you any closer to the timekeepers. An audience with the timekeepers is on the table. Oh, he better be telling the truth, Owen Wilson. You better not be lying. A Loki couldn't have gotten the jump on C20. Uh. I think you underestimate, actually. Fan out and search for her. He clearly, he did get a jump on her. Why are, th this woman is so annoying. She's so dismissive of, of anybody who's a variant, you know. I can deliver you the variant, but I need assurances. I'll we'll need to speak to the timekeepers at once. They're in graver danger than we realized. I think he's lying. He's lying, isn't he? He's lying. Yeah. Just playing games. There's no one out there. Wait, maybe there is someone out there. Now I'm like, wait a minute, what if he wasn't lying? Was he not lying? Oh my God, now I just don't know anymore. Oh, so I guess when it approaches the red, like if it touches the red line, you can't reset the timeline anymore. It's permanently messed up. What happens if you can't reset it? Like that's gotta be a problem, huh? Maybe the Time Lords have to get involved at that point. What's the step, the next step of your manipulation? No, this is the Ugh. final step, your last chance. Oh, great. Already the last chance in episode two. I'm not gonna lie, those three Time Lord statues are kind of creepy. You see them all over the place. Shh. Oh, classic librarian trope behind him. <laughs> it is really annoying to be shushed. I'm such a loud person that I've been shushed a lot of times in my life and it irritates me. In certain situations, I, it doesn't bother me, like when you really need to be quiet and I need a reminder, but it bothers me in situations where it really doesn't matter if I'm talking and people are just embarrassed that I'm loud. I'm like, don't hang out with me if you can't handle it. Destruction of Asgard. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't probably hear about that, huh? He probably skipped over that part in his file. No, the whole civilization wasn't annihilated. That's not true. That's not true. A lot of people escaped. Oh, wait, but then Thanos did kill them. So, yeah. But there are some people that survived. They're in that little sea town. Maybe it just means civilization like the place. Because that, that's definitely gone. He's hiding in apocalypses. Let's just say, what are you doing? Your with? salad. <laughs> I knew he was gonna use his food. I knew he was gonna do that. I want and that salad. Oh, and calm down. He might mess up the salad. There he goes. He's not gonna wanna eat the salad now. Serta will destroy Asgard no matter what I do. No, don't do. Oh, so he hides in apocalypses because it'll cover up the trace. Oh, and you weren't gonna eat it anyway after all that salt and pepper. Because the timeline's not gonna branch. Still salt and peppering it. I love watching him do that. <laughs> Oh, Pompeii. Ooh, what an apocalyptic event to go to. Oh, you poor people are about to be burned and covered in molten lava. What are they gonna do when, how are they gonna get out of this? Oh, come on, it's cool. It's pretty cool that they're at Pompeii, I'm not gonna lie. Moritori Estes. Oh no, Loki, this is, you've gone too far. Nothing matters. Oh my God, I love it. I love watching him play, he's so cute. Zero variant energy. 
No branching in the timeline. Wow. Are you going to get out of... You should get out of here, though. <laughs> I liked that cut. Just, like, him chilling, like... <laughs> it's volcanoes quickly. The ash is running towards him. It's so cute. I love this duo. Existence is chaos. Nothing makes any sense, so we try to make some sense of it. Yeah, I agree with that philosophy. People like to put things in a box and label things so they can try to make sense of things in their brain. But there's a lot of things you just can't explain. Just chaos. Reality is what you make of it. You know, you called me a scared little boy. Scared little boy. What's going on with this little music coming in? Oh, Owen Wilson just pieced something together. A cathedral candy box. Oh, right. The blue candy with the kid. Kablooey. Kablooey. Do you have candy on Asgard? Yeah. Grapes, nuts. Grapes and nuts! <laughs> oh, that's sad. They have a lot of beer, though. It's not the climate disaster of 2048 or the tsunami of 2051. 2051? Ah! 2050! Stop looking in the future! That's where he is. Alabama, 2050. <gasps> We're gonna go into the future of Alabama. And this is all based on a theory from the variant who just blew your previous mission. Yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> Trusting this man is not a good idea. Probably not, but it's also not the worst. You know, that's just how it is with Loki. Sometimes he burns you, sometimes he helps you. I'm pretty sure he'll burn Owen Wilson once in this series, but then they'll make up. There's not much I can do if it doesn't work out. Oh God, if it doesn't work out, will he be destroyed? Oh geez. High stakes, damn. Not often you see lighting like that for scenes. Like, they definitely play a lot with the retro light bulbs and golden lighting in these episodes. I really like it. Every time there is an attack, the variant steals a reset charge. He's planning something. Oh, right. He's been stealing the reset charges. Wow, this is a pretty intense hurricane. Oh, jeez. Guys, you gotta get inside. This is crazy. I like how they all have like hoods and helmets except for Loki. He's like, whatever, I'll be wet. Oh, he just fixed himself. Oh boy, is this variant Loki gonna see that there's another Loki? Oh boy. Oh, what's that countdown timer for? Oh boy. Makes me really nervous, that prune thing being right there with the spooky lighting. Don't, oh. Oh, it is. Uh-oh. Oh no, he was being controlled. Oh no. Oh no. Is he dead? They usually survive. Uh-oh. Loki. Me, I presume. If anyone's anyone, you're me. <laughs> so smart of that Loki to just use other people to bounce around. I didn't realize he had, like, mind-controlling powers like that. Oh, they found C20. Do you? Do you? Oh, she's having a mental breakdown. That's good. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, gaining their confidence was no mean feat. You went undercover. I, I, I think he's lying right now. I think this is all a lie. I think he's just trying to play his cards right with the other Loki. I'm not interested in ruling the time variance authority. What are you interested in doing? Oh God, oh, all these reset things are everywhere. Oh no, that's what the countdown is for. Guys, you gotta get out of here. What did you give away? The timekeepers, where they are. I gave it away how to find them. Oh no. Oh, she's waking up. Good. Oh, she probably thinks Loki did this to her too. And it's like, not, not, oh God, not the case. She probably has no memory of what happened. Lure us all here so you could blow the place up. Oh, is he gone? That's fun. That's not terrifying at all. Oh, that's, oh God. Oh, he found a bigger body. That's great. I miss Randy. <laughs> I miss Randy too. <laughs> He's swinging in a vacuum. Oh no, but let go of it. Oh God. Oh, that's not fun. Looks like your favorite Loki betrayed you. No, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, it's complicated. Oh, there he is. Oh God. Oh, it's not Loki at all. It's a woman. Who is this? What? Who is this girl? Oh God, what did she do? Oh, she got a lot of them. She's stolen a lot of those. That's really problematic. Uh-oh. Where are they all going? Probably all over the place. Oh, she's f***ing up the timeline. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> They're so stressed, look at them. Oh yeah, that's bad. Oh, she's just gonna leave, isn't she? How'd she make the lighting all red? Okay, oh no, he's gonna go. Oh no. Uh, he might have been scared for his life too. Like he saw them running at him with those vaporizing sticks. <laughs> Or maybe he just saw his opportunity to escape. He's a very conflicted character. He always goes back and forth. I wonder who that girl is. I'm sure we'll find out in the next episode, but I'm definitely interested. I guess it could be the female version of himself.
potato skins or buffalo fingers. Oh, we could eat somewhere else. Wait, it, this is this is the girl that she she kidnapped. I'm so confused. It's the same girl. Is this like an alternate dimension because of the time thing that she messed with? How many people are guarding the timekeepers? Oh. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Ah, that's how she did that. I see. Oh, that's where she, oh, that's where she went. And Loki followed her here. Oh my God. This guy's just on the phone. Oh, oh, it didn't work because her powers don't work here. Well, she really got a hold of his stick real fast. That's unfortunate. She's really good at fighting. Oh my God. You, you think she would hold on to that thing. It's very efficient. Have you really got nothing else better to do? Rude. Um. Hey! He's got a fist and she's got a sword! What was that that he just pulled out? What? Oh, did he have a thing that could zap him out of there? Where are they? Is that- what is this glitter dirt on the ground? The battery's low. Ha 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 ha! They're stuck together now! What? Where did you send us? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Where are you guys? Lamentus One. Sounds like a lovely place. I was gonna make a pun about lamenting to be there, but I'll, I'll drop it. Is it an apocalypse? It's an apocalyptic event, isn't it? Someone makes it off here. Watch out! What are you guys, where are you guys running to? Are you trying to find a ship? Oh, is this like a, a shelter? So they're gonna stay? Uh, I don't know. You guys gotta find a way to get off this planet. What are you doing? What are you doing? Was she trying to... You're trying to enchant me? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work on him. The plan you interrupted was years in the making. I like how they're both British. I mean, they're not really British, but you know what I mean. They both have British accents. Oh, is there somebody in this building? Oh, they didn't like that. Ooh, who's she? I like her already. <laughs> Where is everyone? The Ark. The Ark? Was it like a Noah's Ark situation? The evacuation vessel. Oh. Something like that would have enough juice to repower the temp pad. But then you'd ruin everybody's evacuation. Train station's the edge of town, but you'll never get a ticket. Oh, is that why she's here? She couldn't get a ticket? Oh, only the richest of the rich get to go. Oh, so it's not everybody that gets to evacuate. I see. We're doing this one my way. Is he gonna pretend to be some rich Person? Oh. Why didn't you put the helmet down, dude? Hide your face, bro! Tickets? Oh, they don't have tickets. Unless he can just conjure them up magically. Sir, this. She's gonna enchant him and then it's gonna work. Headquarters radioed in the request for them this morning. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I liked Loki's dumb little plan, even though it didn't work. <laughs> it was cute. Wow, look at all these rich people not even stressed. All dressed in the finest. Now I don't feel bad that they're probably gonna steal juice from this evacuation vessel. Not that I want anyone to die. FYI, that wasn't even a plan. I feel like they're gonna have like an awkward romantic moment even though they're technically the same person. No, I knew I was adopted. What? Did they not tell you? No. <laughs> no, I'm good, thanks. Oh, I'll take us. Thank you. Is he just gonna drink both of the champagne? What if it's a trap, Loki? What if she somehow enchanted someone to... Maybe not. Maybe I'm worried over nothing. Is there a... Lucky bow waiting. Oh, here we go. We're getting to the... <laughs> this is so weird because they're the same person. They really are just opening up with each other so much out of nowhere. We should rest. All right. How long is a train ride? Oh, it might be a long train ride, but I wonder how long they have until this moon crashes. You think that, like, people wouldn't wait this long. Oh, my God. With shit like that happening, you think people really wouldn't wait this long to take a train because what if the train track just gets destroyed? All these people on the train are so calm. I'd be, like, stressed. He's throwing a party. Oh, this guy. Uh-oh. He doesn't like, he doesn't like what's going on. Love is a dagger, but ultimately when you reach for it. Ah. It isn't real. Oh, that's such a cynical way. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe it'll come back around later. Oh, she was right. Sir, can I see your tickets? Hey. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And she's just smiling because she gets to fight now. Oh, she's taking off her crown and using it as a weapon. Oh, God. Loki! Oh, Jesus. Loki, no! He broke it? Oh no. Ah! 
Ooh. <laughs> Feisty. I guess their only hope at this point is to be rescued by the timekeepers. And I don't know if that's going to... I mean, it, it has to happen. They got to get out of this. They're not going to die in episode three. What about the Ark? But how are you going to make it there? How close is the train? Oh, wow. So the Ark, in reality, usually never got off the moon. And, oh, so this is a moon and the planet's crashing into them. Okay. I know she said this in the beginning, but it's a lot scarier when you're on a moon and a planet is crashing into you. They're so cavalier, like they, they're not walking that fast. You'd think they'd be power walking or running. That young soldier from the TVA had to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior before she even fought for them. What? What did you say? Oh, right. Because Owen Wilson's character always thinks he was just a member of the TVA. They're all variants, just like us. They don't know that. Holy sh what a plot twist. What a twist, what a twist. 10 minutes, you guys only have 10 minutes and you've been walking slowly this whole time. I, I'm also so surprised that the arc took this long to take off. You'd think that the arc would have taken off sooner. Wait, it went from 10 to five? You only have five minutes. We go round. Okay, can you do that really fast? Jesus. The art style for this show just gets cooler and cooler, I have to say. This reminds me a lot of uh, the, the planet that Thor ends up on in Ragnarok, that trashy planet that Jeff Goldblum rules. Kind of reminds me of that. Wh where do these people come from? Jesus. Where do these people come from? They're, are they guarding the ship, I guess? They're really guarding the ship like their life depends on it. You think that they're about to die too because they're not on the ship. You'd think they'd quit. I'd be like, F it, try to board the ship if you can. I'm screwed too, who cares? Also, you think this ship would not be built to take off in the most overly crowded city ever. It might be a little bit outside the city. Did he just do that? Did he just do that? That is crazy. It failed. You guys didn't have enough time. What are you guys gonna do? This is crazy! Yeah, I don't think there was anything you could have done. Where's she going? <laughs> like right here, this song is just, it's just such a great choice. This is how it's ending? Oh my God! <laughs> like the soundtrack has really been pretty great. <laughs> they fought so hard for five minutes. I'm like, five minutes? This doesn't seem like enough time. <laughs> and it wasn't. Well, the show has been really action packed so far and a lot of interesting things have happened. The plot, I definitely think, is pretty unique, kind of in line with a show like WandaVision. Very fun. I'm really enjoying all the comedy I'm getting to see from characters like Tom Hiddleston and, you know, Owen Wilson. I'm just happy that there's a lot of comedic levity throughout this piece. The art style is really cool. Um, even in this episode, it was just super purple and glittery, and uh, the lighting was really soft and um, pretty throughout the whole episode. And even with a, an apocalypse going on, you can tell they definitely have a lot of funding for all of the sets because the sets have just been all so different and really flushed out, really cool uh, wardrobe as well. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing from the art style specifically for this show. I'm liking that there's a little plot twist thrown in that all the people who work at the TVA are actually variants. And uh, I'll be curious to see what happens with the TVA by the end of this series because a character like Loki is either going to be allowed to stick around or he's not going to be around anymore. Maybe the TVA will be abolished, who knows, but I think that uh, Loki and Sylvie will probably work together. A lot of fun things are happening and I'm just excited to see where this show ends up, but for now that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.